don't think he's paying attention to me at all. So now I just feel like I did that for nothing. Shut up, dude. <laughs> Darch doesn't pay any attention to me. I, that's true. Honestly, I think we need to get a divorce. What Feels the? starved for attention. Um, honestly, he's just not paying attention to me, caring for me, doesn't care about me, goes out all the time without me. Terrible dad. That's crazy. Anyway, uh, welcome to the Discord, guys. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, on a Wednesday, because, uh, I don't know, schedules just work better this day, I guess. Um, but we got Soko, who hasn't been on Discord for a, for a, for a, for a hot minute. Since Pirates, I think. Yeah. <clears throat> so it's, it's good to have you. And we got Bell, and I feel like definitely got some stuff regarding Jack to talk about. Definitely got some stuff regarding uh, Kess to talk about. Um, following the uh, death of Daigon, as well as some revelations made last session. Um, before we get going, anything anyone wants to announce or say or share with the class? The latest episode literally went up as we went live on the YouTube. So there you go. once we're done here, I'll post a link in the Discord. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I ordered 10 boxes of Girls Got Smoke cookies, so... Oh, Dude, okay, yo, hey, when you're in the Netherlands, uh, September, right, or whatever? Dude, the plan, the plan was to bring some to, to the UK and the Netherlands for you guys. Fuck yeah, because they were so fucking good, dude. Dude, they're the best. They're so fucking good. Oh nice. my god. <sighs> they are dope as fuck. <laughs> There's so much sugar in them, though. <laughs> I can't, dude, I, I'm, I'm excited, man. This summer, the fucking UK gang's gonna be in the Netherlands, uh, and then you're gonna be showing up at some point I as well. Know. It's awesome. Dude, I'm kind of mad that Ethan didn't, like, ask me, like, when I was going. Not because... I, I, you know, it, it might not have worked out, but it would have been nice to, like, all go at the same time. Yeah, but, like, because you're, you're like, September, once. right? Which is when, typically, like, summer break yeah. kind of is just over here, so people go back to their usual lives. I know, but, like, Ethan's not in school, Duke's not in school, Koiba's not in school. That's... Sassy's up be out of school by then. Well... There's a good we'll likelihood, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't fucking jinx it, dude. <laughs> If she, like, if she like fails a class, I, now it's all on you. I'm not jinxing in her. I believe in her. You know, good lad. What a what a sure. friend. What a nice homie. nice save. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah, it would be nice, but you know. I don't think I have any announcements, so we can just uh, get right into it. We've got a lot of questions mm -hmm. submitted, so we got a lot of stuff to talk about, and I definitely have some questions for you lot as well. And I'm sure maybe you'll have some questions for me as well. Who knows? Um, just one. That I asked you. So, <laughs> last we left off, the party following the death of one of their uh, fellow party members, Daigon, had to kind of... It took a short amount of time to kind of say some form of goodbyes to Daigon, but there wasn't really time to mourn as they are still in Nessus, the ninth of the Nine Hells, and uh, have to find a way out. Uh, they accompanied a group uh, named the Iron Crusade um, on the way to Serpent Fort, one of the forts uh, house, uh, that houses one of uh, Asmodeus. I have sorry, Asmodeus? Asmodeus. Can we get a quick poll? Asmodeus. Asmodeus? Um, I think Asmodeus is correct. Asmodeus. However, Asmodeus sounds way better. It sounds way right? cool. Right? Honestly, Asmodeus. I think we go with Asmodeus. Asmodeus. I think Asmodeus just is better, so I think we can go with cool, that right? and yeah. uh, fuck anyone that doesn't like it, you know? Yeah, Serpent Fort is the home of one of his avatars. Uh, the reason why Asmodeus doesn't uh, <coughs> show his true form is because his true form is that of a fucking hundreds of feet long wingless serpent. Uh, it's just a bit awkward. Uh, so he made a bunch of humanoid looking avatars to uh, be able to socialize and mingle with people and talk to people. That. Um... So the, the chances are that if you f were to find your supplies needed to get out of fucking hell, that fort would be a good a good bet. Uh, you got given some help. Uh, you're, you're, you, you aren't quite at the fort yet, but your party got given the assistance of a, um, a, a member of the Iron Crusade, you could say. Uh, a Warforged. Uh, played by Laura, of course. Uh, Prazitar? I think that's how you pronounce it. I, fucking completely I think so. Dude, okay. <clears throat> I think Laura actually asked this later on. But mm -hmm. the reason I gave her a nickname because I was like, there's no fucking way. <laughs> I'm going to 
be able to pronounce our character's name, so I gotta figure out something quick and easy to say. Yeah, fair. So um, that's it. And that's gonna be Laura's <laughs> uh, player character until uh, either Daigon comes back or it's time for her to permanently bring in a new character because Daigon doesn't come back. Um, more on that. Uh, I have at a eight, vote if Daigon doesn't come back. Okay. Huh? I say we taxidermy her and keep her in the Bega holding until we find a place to put her. <laughs> My god. <clears throat> All right. Right. <laughs> Got it. Um, anyway, right, so you're on the way like, currently to the Serpent Fort. As we ended last session, you saw the Serpent Fort kind of on the horizon uh, after having fought through a small group of um, <laughs> devilish warriors and having to deal with some weird damned souls trying to convince you to do all sorts of fucked up shit in a little tunnel. Um... So next session you'll uh, you'll be entering the fort proper and uh, okay, you know a good old like like dungeon crawl light I suppose like not a proper dungeon crawl but definitely some dungeon crawl type. Uh, type yeah, we haven't beat. done one in a bit, right? It's probably been since like that castle. Uh, mm. I'm at pirates. Like a proper dungeon crawl. Uh, pirates. Uh, yeah. Uh, we yeah, went... it was like a real dungeon crawl, wasn't it? Yeah, well, yeah it was, like, that was like all one. through the. Yeah, it was. Like, I just don't remember there being a lot in there. There was so much in that, dude. There's a lot in there, dude. Maybe it's just because we actually went through it, like, pretty quick. Like, usually it takes us, like, two... Yeah, because sessions. you didn't have to go in. You kind of, like, got yourself pris taken prisoner. So you were in the depths of it when you started the crawl, I guess. So all you have to do is... Mm, that's a good point. ...find the things and get out. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. A lot of things happened. Uh, I don't... Like I said, because of the, 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 the reason... The, the events that have transpired, uh, I kind of want to just get into the the nitty gritty because we have a lot to talk about um first things first do you guys have any questions that you want to ask me before we get going with the the, the submitted questions <sighs> i think i had the only one a couple i had i think were answered last week's okay yeah this is more just like about the balsam fight and whatnot okay. yeah pretty much fair enough fair enough fair enough Although I might think of something, but yeah. Yeah, yeah that's fair. We'll see. <clears throat> um, but we'll get we'll, we'll we'll fucking get to it then. I have a question for you, too. Um, my first question, because Jax wrote a note in Daigon's uh, book after she died. Correct. Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 Laura gave us. What was in the notes? Great. Um, say Daigon does come back. Mm -hmm. Is that going to be the moment where we finally get some transparency from Jax about his backstory? Dude, Jax has been and, a okay. Book and this whole if time. Daigon doesn't come back, <laughs> like, uh huh. Will like at what point will Jax be like, okay, listen, guys? Cause there's been like little little tidbits, like last week again, like a little tidbit of like, you know, like there's been hints at yeah. like some stuff that has that Jax has going on. Like when is the moment where you as a player are like, okay, now is the time for me to. Um, I, I part of it's been no one has really asked. Like I've answered every question someone's asked me about my backstory. You know, I haven't been really too evasive over it. I guess so, yeah. Um. It's it's more that just no one really at, care asks, and I think it's because I've been open about certain questions. Everyone's like, "Oh, he's just boring, whatever." I don't really care. <laughs> um, whereas like Cass, who tries to hide every little freaking thing, everybody wants to know every little like intricate detail she has going on. Mm -hmm. But I I don't know. I think with the journal, it's if Dagen comes back, obviously there's going to be a big conversation, at least between me and Dagen. Um, whether or not the rest of the party eventually gets involved in that. Cool. So that will be a fun conversation to have if. Kes isn't there to translate. Okay, Dude, she didn't write on like, paper. Like, come on. Counter question. True. Counter question. Uh huh. Say Dagen doesn't come back. How long until Kes decides to read Dagen's journal? <laughs> That's my thing. Is I think Jax probably won't bring up the subject. It'll be whenever Kes reads the journal. That's when it's gonna come out. If she doesn't already. 
cute you think she's not just gonna read it in the vessel now that she has everything in the vessel where she can just read it without having to hide the fact that she's reading it. I always assume she would. She's a busybody, so, you know. What a bitch, huh? <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, some people, they just love their drama, and Kess is one of those people. Yeah, she's, she's got, a, she's got a, bit of a, a bit of a taste for um, being, a, being a knobhead, really. <laughs> maybe it's because, like, her dad's about to die. This, this course know? isn't at Bal's dungeon, like, by the way, this is just intervention for you, Bill. Oh, okay. <laughs> I talked to everybody in the group, and Soko felt like he should be the one here to kind of, you know, back me up when we... It's time to stop, Bill. <laughs> Okay, what have I done? If we were having an intervention, this the is fact exactly you don't know what you've done, Bell. Oh my God, that's the issue. <laughs> that's the problem. <laughs> that's done? the problem here. <clears throat> However, if this ever happens again, Bell, this is how we're doing an intervention. Just like <laughs> this is how it will happen in front of other people. Yes. Yeah. Because that's the only way we can shame you. That's like gatekeep girl boss, right? Yeah, bestie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a, a question for Bartholomew Bethlehem Mist. Um, That's me. What was going through Kess's brain when the fight started to go bad and everyone was basically dying? Um. Well, I mean, everyone started going down. And, like, the only thing she could really think of was... Oh, no. They've... The... the uh, I mean... Brooks essentially took a bunch of hits that oh, she God. assumes would have oh, sorry. <laughs> would have been aimed at her. And then Dagon went down and she was like, well, if they were up, they'd be yelling at me to go. It was only when she was like out of the fight that the panic really set in. Mm. A little adrenaline rush, huh? Is this... Like, as far as... Um, this is a little bit of a follow-up question. Like, I guess this is the first time... Kess has been in a situation where that like fight or flight instinct kicked in or had to kick in, right? Mm. How is this gonna alter the way Kess looks at like threats, being in dangerous places, uh, that sort of thing? Yeah, absolutely. Although probably not in the way you'd assume of just being like addition like extra cautious more like not extra cautious on her behalf more like trying to make sure everyone else is okay because now she's like i have a permanent exit strategy should things go wrong for me but like these guys don't she's just not realized she's gonna be at the party at any like, moment multi -classes into fucking, like some kind of like sh fucking shadow cleric or some shit <laughs> <laughs> grave cleric like starts like fucking grave cleric starts healing <laughs> yeah. um that's actually an interesting thing that's thing to um, consider is like it's definitely an interesting question to ask everybody I guess is like how does this like Soko does this the events that happened does that alter the way Jax looks at things um Jax doesn't really care about the party so um there's no <laughs> real full of emotion shit. behind you're full any of this you're full of shit um lies i mean yeah I, I think Jax has always been kind of that thing of okay i'll take the hits so you guys don't have to as well as you know he kind of knows that brooks is there too and you know take a lot of damage um and it's partially why Jax, i built Jax the way he is you know trying to be the high acs that i take more hits don't get hit as much so that everybody else kind of conserves themselves and then everybody ran into melee with the guy, and I was like, oh. <laughs> this ain't gonna go well, and then I couldn't hit anything, which then, if I don't hit, he doesn't get this advantage on attacks, which means he's gonna hit more. And he just ignored me for most of the fight. Uh, so yeah, I think there's a lot of thinking and talking that everyone's gonna do once we're especially just out of the hells. Yeah. And once we get the dying stuff sorted. <clears throat> All right. Um, for everyone, also your new paladin friend. What character were you expecting? Did you have any expectations? Hate it. <laughs> I hate it. I I hate how much I love Flora's character. 
And I'm really kind of sad that this isn't going to be her permanent character if Dagon's dead. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of fun to just have like a Warforged who I want. Jax wants to study, learn how it works. Kind of I do too. Like, give, give me like, give Jax a year off, dude. We're going to have a new Warforged in the party. Um, I think Jax will find some way to turn that like war forge into into like a phylactery or something. If Dagon dies, anyways. it'll just be like it'll just be Dagon, but like metal. Oh. I mean like metal tabaxi. Yeah. Doesn't like pop. I had ex expectations for a tiefling, but I was also like, there's no way she's just gonna do a tiefling. Like she's well, that's what Laura that like, was like, way. oh I guess I'll have to play Tiefling. Laura, no, you can play whatever the fuck you want. We'll make yeah. it work. Um but it's like it's it's really nice kind of element to add with everything that's going on right now because you've got the warforged who doesn't really have any kind of standing in everything that just happened and is pretty much emotionless while yeah. everyone else is at emotion 11 times higher than normal yes. so there's just like <laughs> it's quite nice like relief of tension yeah yeah, plus the robot voice that Laura does. Dude. Yeah, it's so good. It's great. That was the, that's literally the one thing I was looking forward to the most. I didn't care what she played, who she played, whatever. I dude, just wanted to Laura hear plays voice a character that can character. speak, guys. I know. I had forgotten what much, that was like. Then so. <laughs> Dragon comes back, and it's just all back to the back to square one. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Making, we gotta come up with like a stronger thoughts and prayers, hard. man. <laughs> it's Something. evolution, but backwards. <laughs> Uh, for Soko, and this is gonna this is gonna be interesting. I'm, I'm I'm very curious as well. What was going through your head when you heard the name of Brazzy's creator? All right, so I've been looking at this guy for a little bit, um, mm -hmm. as you guys know. Because like know, the thing is, before you answer this, it's like you don't know much about this guy. And no that, one like, knows you, much you, about you this guy. Know, the problem. Like the only thing you know is that like he bought a bunch of property at that place. After, yeah. after all, happened, that's it. After all that happened, and now you know that he makes robots. Yep. And so, like, you still you, you can have suspicions, but yeah. you, like you don't know shit yet. You know what I mean? No, that's the problem. I know nothing, and no one else knows nothing. So hearing someone that finally knows something, which I kind of hate that you threw in right here of all places, kind of annoying. <laughs> um, because <laughs> huh? I feel like I need more time here now. But I know the party doesn't want to spend more time here. <laughs> We're not staying in Nessus, just so you can but go on a little, stay. like, he, he, wild he, he goose. He visits Avernus from time to time, but, like, yeah. the guy even said, like, I don't, I don't fucking know. Like, he doesn't That's what I'm saying, like, there. if we could go there and up stay. Him, I'll check on his stuff. But I know I can find him somewhere. That's the thing. Is like, now that I know where I can find him at least once, it's like, I gotta find a way back here. Back to Avernus. Well, you also know that he has property at, some point. at that one place. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, but we got so, we have so much. So the other thing is, like, I feel like in Jax's head, the priorities go, like, Celeste's thing, because sounds really fun, intriguing, and cool. <laughs> and then, like, the Nightwebs is, like, a con sort of constant threat, so I never know really know when we're going to have to deal with that. And, and there's the, the Brooks kinda, thing that he like, probably doesn't tied, want to deal tied with. to, like, the overlying yeah. thing. So, like, for them, I'm sure they're going to pop up here and there, but they're not, like, a pressing thing that we can really do a lot against. You know, we got like, Brooks's just, thing and the Terraborough King, though. Up and Shit up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the Fairbrook Burks Kingdom thing, I don't know when we're gonna deal with that or if he even really cares about it. So, you know, that's pretty low on the priorities. But I mean we're not even in the right continent right now. So at least until all that's wrapped up, I don't think there's much I'll be doing about it. Mm -hmm. Unless I really want to do Celeste's thing. I don't know what it is, but I wanna find out, man. <laughs> okay. So, if you had to, the, the 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 main emotion you felt when you heard the name, I don't know, dude. It was like a it, happiness? Question mark? Because <clears throat> there's like there's just the fact that there was more, you know. And I actually got like a good bit of information this time, you know. Like instead of just oh he has bought property here makes things cool but now i know some people that know him and kind of what he does now so like i can start building like a profile for him 
on like four criminal minds. That's just how my brain works. Getting out the middle uh, of Yeah, I, I like it. Now I can kind of figure out what makes him tick. You know, things he mm, likes. What makes him tick? No pun intended. <laughs> I hate you so much. Okay, yeah, I, I think, dude, once Jax is finally like, hey guys, listen, so I've been looking into this thing. Mm -hmm. And like Jax finally opens up about like his private life and the things that happened. Part of which, like, I guess you kind of sort of brushed over when writing the notes in Dagon's journal. Yeah. Um, it's gonna be good, man. And I feel like oh, it's gonna be good. Like, like I, I always do. Like everyone ready. has their like storylines that kind of get touched on as well, right? So at some point, uh, you know, we've we've got Kess reuniting with her father, and then it turns out that father is sick, and uh, and that will bring some form of like personal achievement for Kess. Like, hey, reunite with my dad. And I cured his sickness. Now we can start building a well, relationship. Whatever. If we cure his sickness. Well, yeah, but like that's like the end all be all. <laughs> then we'll, you know, Brooks. Brooks was a hard one because. Um, Brooks's one was hard because I don't know. It's like one of those. Ethan gave me a lot of like little things, and I'm like, how do I make something that is like a sufficient enough meaningful meaningful personal arc for him to go on? You know what I mean? So I'm I'm kind of tinkering that and 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 uh, I'm still working on that a little bit, but um, yeah. And then Davian, obviously the whole Kosuf thing, and uh, there is some stuff that happened in Davian's past that kind of link to that that will be exposed later on and yada yada. Uh, and we gotta get him back at the, to that bakery. <laughs> True. And um, <clears throat> obviously, you know. Whether or not Dagon comes Lazarus. back, there's the whole like hairless tabaxi thing, and and the well, whole dude, like, place say, where all the elements wanna... meet, and and blah blah blah. Um, I feel like we have to like finish that for her if she dies. Lazarin obviously you know has I mean? like the whole family wacko nightweb uh, uh, override thing going on, which is is very closely linked to the main plotline of the campaign. I feel like. Oh, if that's the case, then we <sighs> can just someone? like throw him out of the party. Am I missing someone? No. Brooks, Dagon, Lazarin, Max, Davian. No, that's everyone. Okay, so you know, that's everybody. Yeah. But like, <clears throat> and it's the same way I did it last campaign, right? Like I did the same thing for 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 the Heroes of Exile. You know, like Thanis had a uh, her whole arc, kind of like separated into two parts. Had like the the circus family arc and then the actual family arc that kind of like got like split in half and resolved in different places. Um. I mean, for Ash, we never had an arc because he died too soon. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Forehead. But Naron had a really die. nice, like, personal thing. Naron had a great one. More Finding his family. and Pretty good one, you know? Uh, Got a Mormon, little dark, but... Mormons was good, but also really fucked <laughs> at the same yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Um, Tough one. Again, had uh, some pretty good, like, personal development through through small... I feel like through, like, smaller arcs, but then suddenly... The whole like kingdoms rebellion thing happened, so that suddenly tied Gen's like story arc really closely to the actual main like main plotline. Um, yeah, Bran had a like a really good personal uh, personal thing going on. The cool like I feel like, and that's kind of what I try to do is throughout the campaign, I want every character to have some form of like personal one a personal victory as well, so th that they can like grow from and shit like that and. Or they die. I'm I mean, struggling a lot more this campaign to kind of figure out that. But uh, I, I'm getting somewhere, you know? I'm cooking. You know, just let me cook for a little bit. We didn't, I mean, you got very, time. You we know? didn't really give you very easy characters to do it with, to be okay. honest. All of us, like, absolutely. Yeah, the last the campaign, you guys were a lot more cookie cutter. You know yeah. I mean? <laughs> Not this time! Not this time. I mean, we were just more cookie cutter people, I feel like. I guess so, though, yeah. I mean, after but, you play um, for a few years, you develop. You know, I, I mean, like, I hadn't played D and D at all, so plus the entire campaign. <laughs> That's true. Last campaign <laughs> Everything was, very, was just very. very I feel like last better. campaign was very streamlined. Uh, go to this place for the main story. Oh, there's a couple side quests you can do there. Move on. Now it's just like your quest log has like eleven plus entries. Fucking figure out what you want to do, guys. And yeah. it it keeps giving, like changing and shifting. Yeah, I'm giving, we, we have plans, and, and then the plans get ruined by instead of drip feeding you quests. I'm just exposing you to a lot of quests at once, and then it's up to you to fucking figure out the direction and and, and the decisions and the, the order in which you do things will impact other things. You know what I mean? 
Yeah. No, it's great. Because if we don't do something in time per se, because yeah. we chose to do something else, then. So I'm just, yeah. and I think for next, I'm already thinking about next campaign, by the way. Like it's, my brain never stops. I think. Why? Because um, you think we're going to TPK? Well, no, the thing is, I think both the way I wrote the first campaign has its benefits. And the way I'm writing this campaign has its benefits. And I'm, I'm trying to, I'm kind of just like working on a way, like how can I, for the third campaign, get the best of both worlds kind of thing going on. Um, but um, yeah, you got time. We got, we got time. Yeah. Like this campaign is far from over. <laughs> like, very well, I, mean, dude, I like, don't know. Like, we don't know. Like, like, to, to put it into perspective, we're like 50 odd episodes in. Mm -hmm. We are about a little under the halfway Maybe. point of last campaign. Mm -hmm. We are nowhere near it, the halfway point. Of this it doesn't campaign. feel like we're anywhere. No, it felt like it felt like we've gone nowhere this campaign. Right? <laughs> exactly. And that is that's kind of was the goal because I wanted this one to last a little longer. It feels like it's going to last forever. Well, I think we RP a lot more this campaign. Yeah, too, we do. Yeah, yeah, which yeah, yeah. It, like definitely helps stretch things out. Uh, plus, like you know, you're leveling a lot slower. But uh, so like this campaign is definitely uh, written to last a little longer than the last one. Purely because I'm gonna kill some gods for levels, boys. Purely because um, like I wrote a whole like continent specifically for this campaign and the whole like elemental bullshit going on, and I feel like I don't want to rush that. You know what I mean? Which is why I'm just kind of like this is gonna probably take a little longer, but that's fine. That's that's totally fine. Uh, but I already I, think I already have ideas for next campaign. Like and that, that like that whole thing. Like my brain does things very weirdly. I can never focus on one thing if I'm writing something. And I'm like oh. Wait, but if I then and I open like a second word file and write something else down, I'm like, oh, third one. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> That's very like, ADHD of you. I don't stop. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next campaign, I already know where I wanted to take place. I already know the time frame. I already so like I know that already. But it's just like that. You know, see you guys in like, four years, whatever. <laughs> uh, or sooner if we TPK. Who knows? Well, if you guys mm. TPK, the third campaign is going to look vastly different. Well, we wouldn't have even been close to the <laughs> if someone window. hadn't left. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, for Soko, oh, this is a question that I already kind of asked a little bit, I guess. Oh. Uh, when the fuck are we getting a monologue from the blue man? Because there's clearly more hidden backstory, question mark, exclamation point. And whenever you guys ask about it, dude, that ain't on me. Everyone is too self-obsessed to ask questions. <laughs> exactly. It's why my character is perfect for this party specifically. I'm the We're least all interesting, too therefore to ask no questions. I mean, that is fair, to be honest. Everybody mm -hmm. else hides shit. I don't, so I don't actually get to have to. I don't have to actually talk about anything. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, I never realized it worked that way. On a more serious note, how is Jack's feeling at the moment with the loss of Daigon, the introduction of the name recognizes, and how does Soko feel about the vibes in the party currently? Um. Okay. So I think Jax is at a little bit of a low. You know, mm -hmm. as far as the party goes. You know, we just lost a party member. Um, and one of Jack's like uh, actually liked um, compared to the rest of the party. Uh, there's that cast person. Um, but yeah, I, I think Jax is he's handling things, you know. Um, got a lot going on his mind. A lot of backstory things kind of coming up. Finally, uh, just from death to die and stuff, you know. So yeah. Uh, that's uh cool. like the whole not... hell thing just kind of like because you went to sagalia go get yeah. tooth deliver tooth oh quick pop pop by brooks's dad or whatever because yeah. you're there anyway then go to woods get helmet for main storyline and then sounds like happened. a little fetch quest and that know? and then this happened, you know and then, oh. <laughs> oh so yeah God. we'll uh let's see you're gonna be ooh, ooh, you're gonna be yeah. off i think the party vibes are okay um it's nice that people don't blame Kess. yeah um i might out of out of character <laughs> I guess. Bit. nothing um, that, dude that that changed nothing i know uh honestly the only thing that would have changed the outcome of that fight was me and duke just rolling and better. laura rolling better dude like laura rolled like shit as well. like yeah. three of you rolled like absolute fucking ass yeah dude. I, I need to go back That's to the VOD and I'm just count how that. many times I actually hit because I think it was under 10. Like sometimes, Which is dude. crazy. And then I rolled really well. Like sometimes, bro, like I swear, right? People are going to be like, wah, wah, wah. Like, 
I, if it's a, I, I want you guys to win. As a DM, you're not playing against me, you know what I mean? Like, I want you guys to... I want my players to win. No, it's us versus you. But... Yeah, yeah, Alright, fucking... What's his name from Critical Role? The guy that got fucking kicked? Um... Huh? I don't know. I, I can't remember. I, fucking, yeah. the guy who played oh, Kobe fucking... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, but, like... At some point... Because I've pulled punches before, dude. I've spared you... I fudged my own rolls because I felt like fuck. And I just decided to not do that this fight, and the, the, the dice wanted you to die, man. Yeah, on your Both side. Both on and my end and on your guys' end. Yeah. So, and I said this last help. week, I, and I'll reiterate I, again the fact that only one person permanently died, it could have gone a lot worse. It, it could that have was my best case happened. scenario, honestly. Like. Like, the fact that only Daigon died is a blessing in disguise. And the fact that none of the bad rolls happened on Revivify rolls. Mm. True, true. Like, if again, just one DC of those rolled bad, like, that's the, the person the, the dead. DC for, like, first deaths and stuff isn't that crazy, right? But Yeah, but we all, with us rolling under sevens and stuff like that, at least the yeah, good, true. you know, at least it was Koiba rolling him, yeah, not wisdom base, Duke so or like Laura. The, uh, the clerics have, like, positive. He's, like, plus five, yeah. Because they're clerics, they, they cast through wisdom, right? So, like, that naturally is yeah. a good... It natural. all takes one bad roll. No, no, yeah, no. That, that's the problem. <laughs> um, but that's D&D. Yeah, no, absolutely. And dude, like I said this last week, and I'll say it again. Death in a it's D &D fun. campaign is a good thing. Because sure. there's yeah. so much character development. So much like party development as a, as a party that comes from losing someone. So, not all bad. You know? Yeah. Like when, um, when Ronk died last campaign. Mm. That had that had an impact. That had an impact on the group as a whole, dude. Like Ash, maybe not so much because it was so early. But he was uh, a bit. True. Well, Ash really fucked up Tremaris, and that caused Tremaris yeah, to fucking spoil. Yeah, that started a whole little arc in itself. This was a fucking badass fucking arc, by the way. Might I add, like the whole yeah, that was like, great. that was sick, fucking dope as fuck. I think honestly, story arcs wise, the whole like, uh. Fuck what was he called? The fucking god. Um, the like old god that took Aros? over from Eris. Uh, oh, it starts with like an O or, or an M. Oh, there you go. That yeah. whole arc. One of my favorite arcs of that campaign. I'm gonna be real. <laughs> uh, I was gone the week he grabbed the crown. I remember because yeah. I was on vacation. And I was so mad. <laughs> I was so furious. I wasn't there to do something. Not that there was probably anything I could do. However. It was badass. Um, question for Bell. Yay. Uh, was Daigon dying what spurred her into showing more care for the group, such as offering her healing potions, asking Brooks if he was okay? Or is that something that's just been building up in general? Uh, it was kind of, Daigon dying was kind of just like throwing petrol on a fire. It was like, it was something that was like slowly building that she was just kind of ignoring as much as possible. And then Daigon died, and she was like, ah, shit. I care. <laughs> no. I have feelings. No, this was not part of the deal. Um. <laughs> so, it definitely, like, it was the catalyst. I guess. But, yeah, it's been, it's been building for a bit. Um, I'm trying to think of, like, points before this where she kind of acted on it and I can't think of any because there weren't everything's out of my head <laughs> uh, for both of you what's your character's favorite food um grits grits, grits. <laughs> That's some of the wrong food, man. Uh, what? That's some of the wrong food, dude. Oh, oh it's an old man Mama? food. Mama? <laughs> Put on the grits. No, his his was uh, fried chicken and collard greens, all right? <laughs> I'm from Louisiana. <laughs> nah, he's like, he, he likes like old man food, like muesli. Like. Hey, yo, don't this <laughs> muesli, bro. I had a bowl of muesli. <laughs> muesli, 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 really muesli with no cocoa flakes and no bananas, dude. Shit's, fi shit's fire, bro. Sorry, I'm really passionate about my cereal. <laughs> like dried berries. Sounds disgusting. What the fuck? You good? 
You know what? Got, Jackson's favorite beef, food is bro? brown sugar oatmeal, bro. All right. There you go. <laughs> anyway, yeah. uh, so uh, Jackson's favorite food, grits. Brown sugar oatmeal and grits. <laughs> nice. Hell yeah. Um, I don't know. For cast, oh, she I doesn't really like. Grits. Food isn't really like a big thing for her because she. Like, yeah, like, if you as a as a as a as a player like did. This 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 kind of food is probably something that she would like, a lot. She probably like. Really... I think. Kess is a sweet mm. tooth. Yeah, I was right? literally about to say like yeah. eating this. It's like chaotic, but like really sweet. Oh, dude, no, she's a Somewhat beignet sweet. girl. She's a beignet girl for sure. <laughs> What's with all these fucking, like, one. Southern American, or, like, Southern U.S. No, yeah. beignets are just fire, bro. I mean, are they you are. kidding me? They are. Don't get me wrong. They are. Beignets <laughs> are the best. Never had one. Call and they're Kevin. so messy. They're so messy, dude. But, Powder uh, sugar gets dude, everywhere. Like, if I had to, like, be like, uh, Kess? Kess strikes me as someone who will, like... She's, like, you know, for parties. dinner? For dinner? She'll have like pancakes with like strawberries and Nutella or some shit. You know what I mean? Like she's like, I that that's the imagery I have of Kess in my head. Yeah, yeah. Anything yeah. that's one hundred percent sweet over savory. Absolutely. That's uh, the way she presents. Her hero's feast is just, it's just candy. It's just candy. It's just candy, dude. Yeah. Uh, what's Marcus's favorite food? Fuck, Marcus is a. Um, he likes a good like a good like portion of scampi or some shit, dude. And there's like shrimp and garlic. Lots of garlic. Because mm, he doesn't live by the ocean, so it's over, over, like over some pasta or something, dude. You know what I mean? Shit's fire. Dude, some shrimp scampi. That's, that's, that's Marcus's, uh, Marcus's go-to. Uh, for me... Oh, I read this question before the show and it pissed me off. Uh, <laughs> Daigon is our first death without rev revivify this campaign. The closest we came was Kess's petrification. The party managed to fix that. Were you surprised that the party's response to death was that they can fix it? And do you think that it will be in continued tre trend? Or do you foresee character MC that it hits like Ash in campaign one and really throws out the we can fix mentality? The, 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 okay. The reason why this pissed me off cool. was like, this death, even if it can be fixed, still has that same hit that Ash's death, death had. The only reason why the characters are like, we can fix this, I feel like it's because the players know we have access to spells that can fix it now. You know what I mean? Uh, oh, actually... I'm more against that. For me, I think Jax thinks we can fix it because a Lazarin says we can fix it. Yeah, like Without Kess Lazarin, like, I don't think there's any way we can like, fix it. I don't know anything like, about this, We have to deal but... with that now. Yeah, I feel like the whole we can fix it thing mainly stems either from like the characters like coping. Yeah. And a big part of that mentality drives from players knowing we have access to spells that can fix this. You know what I mean? I feel like that's yeah. that's why I'm like <laughs> because I feel like, roleplay-wise, this death hits just as hard. Yeah, there is a chance Absolutely. that it can be fixed, and, like, one or two characters in character are fully aware of that, and the rest is just like, oh, they say that it's possible, so probably. But, like, I feel like... I, the fact that this sh doesn't hit as hard as Ash's death because of that we can fix it mentality, I think is bullshit. I think, well, I think yes. Ash's death, first off, was... Uh, for most of the party... Like, it was really almost nothing. Like, I think the whole... And, and like, the thing is, yes, this can be fixed because of the fact that, that uh, you have some extra time now. But, like, you're going to do... You're going to have to do a whole-ass fucking... Re like, Revivify's not going to do it. You're going to have to do, go through a whole-ass fucking re re resurrection, resurrection ritual, ritual that is a lot harder mind. than a Revivify skill check. Like, y'all yeah. as a group are going to have to convince Daigon's soul to want to come back. And that even, you know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of factors that factor into this. Yeah. So I feel like, I feel like the we can fix mentality stems a lot from an out of game bit of knowledge, which is why the question kind of pissed me off. You, you get me? You get yeah. where I'm from? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, no, not, I, I, not, I get what you're saying. I'm not I'm tripping, right? I feel like that's... And I am you know? of the opinion of, regardless whether God Dagon comes back or not, which I think is probably, honestly, a 50-50 shot at this point. I feel like, um, I mean, yeah, either it happens or it doesn't. Hold that. Yeah, like, <laughs> in, well, no, 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 more, more in the sense of, yeah, I think it's like, even if we find someone to do it, it's like a 50-50 shot. Mm. Right? Um, um, uh, just because yeah, of how the rolls are. I mean, the dice, you never know. Like, that, if it says no, then it's over. There's right? a lot of things, and I've already talked to Laura about, about like, a little bit of the things, yeah. like, the possibilities, and... 
and it's like, harder that we don't actually have someone in our party that can't cast it person i think if if there's truly that like we can fix this mentality um it's not over yet sure but no. like i feel like the assumption is being made that oh we're gonna get her back so death doesn't mean anything you're not there yet little bro you know what i mean and the death does still mean something. Right, yeah. and the fact that death like... wouldn't mean anything if we bring her back. Like, I don't know. The, uh, maybe it's the phrasing, and maybe Ethan didn't mean it this way, but, like, the way it's phrased Probably pissed didn't. me off. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, it is uh... Ethan, so... Yeah. <laughs> it's just me. Because uh, I think, regardless of, like, regardless of the, oh, we can fix this mentality, uh, regardless of that, it still means something. Mm -hmm. Characters are being are developing because of this. It's still a hard hit. And sure, maybe it'll be a hit in two parts. Because of the fact that there is the slight chance that, oh, maybe... Like, the thing, like, let, be fucking for real for a moment. Right? So, yeah. you get out of hell. Then what? Gotta find oh, someone... Gotta, gotta find someone off. capable of doing the spell. Okay, say you find someone. Yeah. Cool. They have to prepare the ritual. Prepare the ritual. Which costs money. You, as a group, are going to be involved in the ritual and have to basically do the right thing, say the right thing, show the right thing, convince Daigon's spirits enough to want to come back. You know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of factors, yeah. dude. And then, even on top of that, the dice has to roll right. And then the, the dice, dice does not roll right. right yeah, exactly. And you're fucked. So I just and that like, one, you're done. I feel like. I don't it's know. It's a lot. There's a lot of money, factors. I don't like, even there's know. a lot it's like of a steps gold or that you guys are going to have to go through. And then at the end of it, say it all works out, Laura could just be like, lol, now nah, I'm good. <laughs> like, that is also a thing that could happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? If she said it just like that, though, that'd be so Like, if Laura yeah, decides... Yeah, she's just like Because Laura, we already talked, and Laura was kind of on... Laura was on the fence already when we initially talked. Yeah. Like, but, no, um, I, I get that. Coming from someone that's died a lot. But, but, uh... <laughs> Well, it's I gonna told, be a thousand Laura, gold just have, for the you're, diamond. You're gonna have a few weeks to think about it. Like, let, let, let it simmer in and play with. And then she pitched like a, a character that she would want to play if Dragon doesn't come back. Blah blah. blah. So like, sounds good. Um. So like, there's a lot of factors, and the fact that I don't know, the way this question is phrased, just to me, just kind of seems like that it. All oh, this death doesn't mean anything or doesn't have an impact because lol, we can fix it. XD. You're not there yeah. yet, man. You're not there yet. Plus, and we regardless have to find of a diamond regardless that is of worth that, a thousand gold. If okay, and regardless of that, if character deaths, even if they instantly get revivified, do not mean anything, then I then I, I don't know what to say, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> like Davian died in that fight against uh, Bitch Queen. Yeah, he got revivified and right then... away, but it still it yeah. still did sure. something to him. And it still did something to Elazarin because it was the first time Elazarin. Yeah, Elazarin, yeah. Right? Because Elazarin so, saw like, happen, right? I feel like even even if that's gonna be reversed, and even if it's a very easy reversal, if it becomes up to, if it comes to a point where I get the sense that, oh well, was, I've died seven times, if I lol dab, I'm just making the executive decision to pull the plug on your character. Next time you die, you, that's it. You know what I mean? Because clearly death doesn't mean anything. Unless it's permanent. Yeah. I, fuck it, let's make it mean something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. if, if your character doesn't develop a little bit, and it doesn't have to be much, but ev even if Jax dies seven times, right? I don't think Jax no, 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 like, Say that happens. But it's all in the, in a fight, and every time it happens, there's a river fight on deck, and the check gets made, so he gets back up like six seconds later. If he, every death should mean something. Every like it yeah. should every death if 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 Jack's like after four deaths Jack's notices maybe I should be a little more cautious or whatever and like even if it's just like a slight change like that that means the death has impacted you and altered your course of thinking as a person as long as I see that fine if it gets to a point where I as a DM see oh it I see deaths are meaningless now I'm raising the fucking stakes because clearly. Rules as written, revivify, oh, checkmate, lol, dab, let's go. Yeah, it's isn't easy. Isn't good enough anymore, so I'm going to raise the stakes. Because I want death to mean something in my campaigns. I don't want death to be a mere inconvenience. I want death to be a learning opportunity and, 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 and uh, an opportunity to develop your character. And if I don't see any learning or any development after a certain amount of deaths, 
then that's it. There's nothing more your character has to learn, so the next death is permanent. Right? Like, I feel, is that, is that, am I, I feel like that's pretty fair. Yeah, no. Right? No, 100%. I mean, that's 100%. why Narok had the option to come back last game. Yeah, no, he did. Like, it's not like that was, yeah. It's just, I like, felt the check like, was, one, I think he the check was made. did his the, thing. the check was passed. Yeah, the, but yeah, I, yeah, and, yeah. and then I got in, like, in, like, a mute whatever with you, and I was like, well, does Narok, does he want to come back? Because he can. Yeah. And I just didn't feel like he really needed to. Like, we had just won the big battle. There was no, there was, we had finished what Narok had to do. He'd found his parents again, mm -hmm. you know? Like, he, he kind of did it. Yeah. He kind of fulfilled his shit, so, like. Yeah, it sucks to leave the party behind, but I didn't think it made sense for him to just come back either. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Kind of sucked too, because I had a lot of fun playing him. But... <laughs> Nuwank was a great character. <laughs> it was Morwen, though, dude. I loved Morwen. Morwen mm. was fucking awesome, too. Morwen was great. Fun. And uh, I don't know, man. Like, I'd, I don't know. I've always kind of. How many deaths that. are we at? Like across the party now, because Davin's at one. We were at, we at were at one. one. Uh, party wide, we're at five now. Like so, four people died in that fight. It was Di is this Dagon's second death? Yeah, I she died I earlier too, right? Yeah. I think this is Dagon's second. She's the first one. Uh, Davin is on one. Lazarus is on one. Kess is on one. Dagon's on two. Damn. So that will also make it so that it's going to be a little yeah, harder. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a harder DC plus the resurrection ritual. Yeah. So like, yeah. so like that's why I'm like. Eh. Dude, like, that's the one fight. That's if you're rough on a, if, that's if rough people on are like assuming too. that it'll all be good, like copium, but but I feel like you know don't don't uh, don't fucking start celebrating yet because like yeah sure, you have the ability now to make it so that a resurrection ritual is possible to be attempted because yeah. of the you know the pausing, the ten day break I guess right. Like, the ritual itself is gonna be a fucking bitch, dude. Yeah, I mean, I can't speak for anyone else, but like for me, it's more like okay, J like Jax is in this mode of okay, we need to just get out of the hells, so we have some time to think and figure out what the fuck is actually going to happen, going on, what we're doing, mm -hmm. talk about everything, but we just can't do that really until we're out of the hell. So he's just like, all right, just push yeah. on, keep going. It is what it is for now. I mean, Cass is very much like in a space of like, I mean, as she, like she said to Blue, like Lazarin seems to think there's a way to fix it, but like, I don't know anything about it. Yeah. To her, Dagon is just dead and there's like, that's, that's it. Jax just found out gods existed, so, you know. True. <laughs> that's a whole nother thing. Dude, I forgot I about that existential into, like, crisis he was in. <laughs> Dude, I was half tempted to take a level in like cleric or something this uh, <laughs> last level up. <laughs> Jack's but... from God. <laughs> but I was is like, there, is there like a God I don't of think Jax has attached. Hold on, let me look. I'm sure there is. Everyone but I don't think that's what Jax guess, would like, be like. Is there like a 5 e God of invention? He, like, he just becomes like a, a devotee to Hephaestus. And see, the, the one I was thinking like. God Jax Wonderbringer, made... God of blacksmiths, woodworkers, inventors, and engineers. Yeah, I mean that's a see that'd be like a possibility, or I was thinking like maybe just Aros because that seems to be like the one that like responds. Wait, no, is this is this canon? I don't think it is. Might not be. Oh no, it is. No, it is. Forgot me wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But yeah, uh, like I don't know. Faerun, I don't know. god of craft, smithing, and inventiveness. Oh. So there is like a five E. Uh... Yeah. I kind of given up on thinking of my own gods. I feel like. The 5e I mean, pantheon is so fucking cool. Why don't use it? So there's still like my own yeah. gods been good in there. Well, my thing like... is like it also allows people to just recognize, mm -hmm. oh, off the bat, oh, that's what that god is the god of when they hear it mentioned. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like. Uh, that, I was like it's, it's pulling on the. I like like really like pulling out the really uh, obscure ones as well. Yeah, it's. All right, anyway, yeah. enough about my fucking death tangent. Sorry, I got a little carried away <laughs> there. Um, I just feel very passionately about death and the stories that I create because mm -hmm. I, if, if no, I, I sense that death has lost meaning, then I failed as a, a storyteller. You know what I mean? I mean, death is the greatest RP. Oh, yeah, 100%. So true thing. Sucks for whoever died, but... <laughs> uh, Bell? That's me! Is it? No. Oh. No, her, that's Beth. Can you get her real quick? Mm. Please, can you get her? Like, I got a question for Bell, so can you... Oh, I don't know. Hold on. Yeah, dude, I can't imagine... I can't believe her name's actually Beth, not Bell. Okay, let's go. Hey, Bell. Nice of you. Hello. Didn't know you had a twin, that's crazy. Um, mm. 
Anyway, uh... Rare law. Rare law. Should throw a or something. Turns out that Belle and Beth were two separate people after all. <laughs> We've just all been fucking calm. Man. Dude, the ultimate dupe. Fit, bro. So from all of that, I get death doesn't mean anything. Oh, OSG, I'm fucking... I'm yeah, OSG, you're I'm right. I'm that killing Kai, and when he dies, I'm playing him as an NPC, up. so you don't even get a fucking say. Right? <laughs> Bitch. Oh, does he turn into a zombie like Ash? He's gonna become a, a fucking zombie. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> it's a zombie. Um, I forgot. I, I always forget that that happened. Anyway, uh, Belle. Yeah. What made Kess... Yes. Uh, what made Kess ask Brooks not to take... Sacrif not to take sacrifice himself for her? Nice fucking ride to meet him. Not to sacrifice himself for her. Is she beginning to doubt his abilities or her own or something else? Um, no. She, she didn't, like, start doubting anyone's skills or anything. It was more... She she got out of that fight, and she was breathing, and she was just crushed by guilt that he had done it at all, and she just didn't want it to become something that became permanent. So she was like, "Don't do that again. <laughs> I I can't I can't I can't be dealing with that. <laughs> Not anymore, man. <laughs> One person is enough." It's like because she's seen she's seen it as a pattern over time that like got more and more exaggerated, and it just kind of hit her all at once that he's not indestructible, however much he says he is, and that sure they have like less time than she does, but. If if he if she were to just let it happen and let him just die for her, she couldn't she couldn't deal with it. Fair enough. Uh, Soki, mm -hmm. what was Jax thinking in a silent evening of drinking with Brooks? Was he glad that there was silence, or was he wishing for someone to break the silence? Um, kind of a mix of both, I guess. Uh, I think drinking helps Jack feel like he's more sane. <laughs> um, and, you know, it, if you're not going to talk about your pain, you may as well drown it in sorrows with alcohol. You know what I'm saying? Because that's healthy. Absolutely. That's what I've Absolutely. learned. Is that that's the healthy way to deal with it. So, you know, that's where we're at. <laughs> I don't know. I guess it's like a 50 50. Like, yeah, okay. he's okay with just drinking in silence, but also okay with talking. You do have a bit of a, an alcohol problem. I don't, would not call it a problem. <laughs> oh. I call it a solution. It's not a problem until I run out of alcohol. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, for both of you, who does your character think would miss them the most if they died? And what do your characters plan to do to unwind after the Hells, plus Daigon is resolved? At the moment, Kess figures Brooks and Davian would miss her the most. Yeah, I can see that. I think that's... With Daigon dead. Right see, with... Is Daigon alive or dead in this scenario? She's dead. Dead. Now, so. She's dead. <laughs> okay, so Daigon wouldn't care who I probably... Maybe Brooks? I don't know. I feel like Jax doesn't have, like, super strong attachments to like anyone per se you know he's been with like you know me and brooks were grouped together at the beginning and everything but like it probably would be brooks but i, I don't know i guess i i, I don't think it would be like a lazarin or davian because those two are just like you know two boys in a sleeping bag together but uh yeah, i don't know if, if it wasn't brooks it would have been Dagon, but yeah r.i.p dude Taxidermy on the way, baby. Stop. <laughs> so, uh, Stop. And, and what are your characters plan to do? The high five and come back home. All of this? <laughs> um, Kaz doesn't have any plans. Depends on where she, we are. She's like, we get out of the hells, see if we can bring her back, and that's the extent of anything she's thinking at the moment. Yeah, I think Jax is the same, because we got to figure out what's going on there to decide what we're doing going forward. I don't know, we like a, if we're in Daramoth, right? Which I'd assume is probably gonna be where we're gonna end up. Probably like a tinkering sesh or maybe like a library session, you know? Library session? Yeah, I guess some things to look up. But, 
trying yes. to look up loads of animals so I can polymorph into like a bunch of shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah, I, need to, I need to give you that list, right? Of, uh, yeah. Fucking fey animals that you. Fae Is there animal. like a CR max on that shit? Seven currently. Yeah, it's like the same as level. I think. Beasts only go up to CR nine, anyways. Yeah. So. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, let's uh do that at some point. Hey, you do have a giant monkey though, because we fought one of those. Mm-hmm. This campaign. True. Wait, did you? Did you? Yeah. Yeah. You set it on us, and it almost killed someone. I think. Oh, that was yes. a, that, no, no, no. That was in the in the jungle. It was like early right? on. Yeah. In the jungle. Those weren't giant monkeys. Those were. I those were giant monkeys. Those were. Blood, they were big. Blood apes. Blood apes. Same thing. Because uh, they like have this thing where um, you know, they can like grow. They're magical oh. beasts technically, so I don't know how that oh, would work. But I guess oh, I don't think so. Then. Come on, is there? Because they never like, mind. They don't Giant monkeys off the table, Cass. Just kidding. I they like don't exist you. in five E, like rules wise. They're a third uh, edition only creature, but I just thought they were oh. cool, so I figured, fuck it. You can make it up. I mean, you could allow. The joys of What homebrew. scar are they? Let's see. Let's have a look. Um, if they're not like over CR9, then I'd say you'd probably go with it. But... Game, no, uh, collections, browse homebrew monsters. There's surely somebody made a Blood Ape thing in uh, Demon Beyond. There are a lot of people that brought back a lot of stuff from 3 and yeah, 3.5. Yeah. Which I love. Yeah, see, that's a thing. I kind of, I was going to agree with this. Like, I was going to say this beforehand, but people, I wanted to see if other people agreed. I, I'd say because of the fact that they're magical and the way their body, like, they work, the enlarging and stuff, I, I, I'd say they're closer to a monstrosity over a beast, IMO. Damn. You know what I mean? Like, they're more monstrous, oh. less animal at their Bastard. core. <laughs> Regardless, there's a lot of other shit you can turn into, probably. So yeah, uh, we'll go find the picture books in the library. Don't worry. <laughs> just flick through and find the most horrific-looking creatures, like beasts, so <laughs> she can just like bros. just to, just to scare spider. the living shit. She, she can turn into oh, giant dude. spiders, and well, she's like, have, "I'm gonna have, do you freak have the to shit out of birds with that." Person, or can you look at a picture? Shut up, Ron. I think that's up to DM interpretation. Is up to you, my man. I think I'd, I'd say um, I'd say you have to like actually. Have seen one, as in not a picture. You know what I mean, they have to see yeah. an alive one. I got lucky. Because I feel like if you can just look at pictures, you just that's such fucking like them. you can cheese the fuck out of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's but the we time. want dinosaurs, Dad. Dinosaurs. Attack us with dinosaurs. How many dinosaurs did I see in the Feywild? <laughs> or in the jungle, for that matter. Less gonna be. Fuck yourself. Uh, no. <laughs> Get it! Uh, the more, kidding, kidding, so the more kidding. I ask, the less she gets. I'm happy with that. I'll keep asking. Shut up! <laughs> Damn, got fucked. Um, that's all the questions submitted to our Discord. Uh, is there anything you guys would like to say or, or touch upon uh, the last few sessions? Soko, listen, man, we gotta talk. <coughs> we, we, you and me, bro. We gotta talk. Mm -hmm. Can you bless my dice? Fucking, you got like, fucking, you know, the whole Ricky... Ricky, you Rick Richard, that, yeah, you know? Oh, yeah. Don't know his name, lol dab. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Jax's backstory is such a fucking gut wrencher and yes. a heartbreaker. Yeah. I love hearing the theories from the other party members about what they think it is out of character completely. Like, Laura's been throwing out the idea that, like, Jax's family got killed by one of his own, like, uh, mechanical monstrosities. Yeah, that remember. was my immediate thought. Yeah, because after, because you had when I was vision listening to the discourse. during the fight, right? It's like, oh, you see this woman being torn apart by... That's right. Oh, I forgot. And they that. thought, and they thought that means, like, like, that you created that, or, like, you killed them. Might have. That was their, like, that, that was their first, like, gut thing. But then obviously yeah. you wrote a little thing in uh, Dying's journal, and now the now Laura was like, wait, maybe that, maybe. <laughs> I love just maybe. keeping him like hanging there, but they don't <laughs> quite know what happened. <laughs> I just want. But it's also like sensitive enough <laughs> to where they don't really want to ask about it, you know? Fuck it. I nah, think like, the thing is, out of like as, yeah. as far as like emotional despair goes, I yeah. feel like Jack's backstory is 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 like <laughs> the biggest fucking heartache. It's gonna hurt, dude. Bro, and I'm so excited to fucking explore that, dude. Fuck. I mean, there's a reason I think I turned out that way, but because that's around the time when uh, Talon passed away. 
that was what that we were writing backstories oh, for. Right, yeah. I mean, yeah, that makes uh, sense. That makes sense. I'm sure that probably had some influence on it, but Yeah, I mean real life is a big inspiration for, for con even not knowingly right? Art imitates life. Exactly. True. The, the whole reason why Bell's fucking uh, Kess's father is sick is I guess I had, I just had Bell in the brain when I was writing D and D, bro. Yeah, you were just like, how do I? <laughs> just got out of like a DM with Bell of her calling me an idiot and me calling her a bitch and not accepting my help with the YouTube channel. I was like, fuck it, fuck this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You wanted a dad? Well, your dad's sick. <laughs> <laughs> and it's curable. Well, no, it's curable. Asterisk. She thinks. Maybe. Oh fuck. Nah, but Until the um, comes in and, like, burns I mean, away whatever know, plant like, is. There's so much shit going on right now currently, like the whole hells thing and then you are you are not even in Agrand, you're on fucking you're in Sigalia. So like I, I I'm curious to see how that's all going to fucking progress and 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 yeah. all that stuff. The next like couple of months are going to be uh rough interesting. ones. Interesting. It was a fun um realization as for how many planes Cass has been to so far. That, <laughs> that made me chuckle. Yeah, Hells, Feywild, Elemental Plane of Air, Primetable and... Plane. Yeah. So is the Plane of Air the one where you're on the beach? Yeah, that's where uh, her dad was. Gotcha. I mean, I guess you could She's just consider like... your vessel is a pocket plane, I guess. Five! <laughs> So I guess you could kind of consider that its own thing, but like eh, four know. and a half. Yeah, we'll say four and a half. <laughs> She's just like going through the whole list. I'm gonna go to every single plane. It's, it's a, lot of, a, a lot of box. planes. Man. Yeah, yeah a lot of planes. There's like sixteen or twenty of them, aren't there? No, and at some point, yeah. right? Like, <gasps> bro, there's pocket portals here in Daramar. Yeah. Sure. Your point? Mm -hmm. We just pick up one to every plane, or two to every plane. <laughs> just like, like do little trips to like the planes, and like, come back and be like, "Well, that one sucked." Next, just, like gra grab like a stick from a tree on just one, the fucking, and... like Rick and Morty type shit. Just like, Pfft. oh, oh this yeah. one sucks. Okay, fuck. Bye. -bye. So, oh, dude, that's crazy. crazy. Yeah. Pocket portals, bro, sold out. That's wild, dude. Like no! they really increased the tax on interplanar travel. Uh, They're like five thousand gold now, dude. Good that's thing crazy. I'm already bro. illegal. That's crazy, dude. That's wild. Dude, Kess cool. is an illegal immigrant. I'm an illegal immigrant. <laughs> well, no. Kess was allowed to come... Kess is like a reverse illegal immigrant. Because she was allowed to come in <laughs> by... You know, she's welcome in the Prime Material Plane. It's just her people don't want her to be here. You know what I mean? Like, it's weird. Oh, yeah. The people... Well, it's kind of both. Like, like it's weird. Her people know. are not allowed to be there... She's like half. Yeah, it's 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 funny because like that like the half way of her is illegal. That's like because of the the ta the way time goes, I guess. Like a lot more time has passed on this side of the realms or this side of the plains compared to the Feywild, where the realization is starting to kind of hit that like, maybe that doesn't apply anymore. But like to yeah, to guess like... people that still applies. Yeah. For those that have been on the receiving end of it, but like for the rest of them, like oh. Dude, that's yeah, forgot about you guys, sort of. You know yeah, I mean? just it was something that devastated people, her too. to hear. Like, yeah. she was absolutely devastated to find that her people had just been completely erased and forgotten. Yeah, the, the, like, that's literally what it is. Like, the that those elves are just kind of... No one knows they exist. Yeah. And you lost your one chance to get that cloak. That was super dope. Oh, dude. Oh, my cloak. Spoiler alert. So that was, like, able to get it. Oh, we know. <laughs> We, we yeah. asked that question in the next course after, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and you were like, no. <laughs> However. No. <laughs> but the it dream lives on. Say. That's fair. Yeah. Maybe in like I'll 10 levels one. you can go back and try and get it. Well, it's gone now. Kill some fucking scholars. We don't know where it is. Steal the clock. You know? True, you don't know where it is. That's crazy. Yo, when do we get the... Uh... Doesn't someone get like a... Doesn't... Don't players get scrying soon? Actually, maybe none of our party can scry, except for maybe Kes. If it's in the Warlock spell list, I don't know. I don't know if it is. None of us might be. We none of us may be able to scry. We might have to try and get an item for it. Scrying is on the dude Bard, Cleric, Druid, Warlock, Wizard spell list. Like fucking every everyone can scry. Oh, oh yeah, so Warlock. Okay, we're good there. Kes wants to take that. Cleric good as well. Sorry, 
Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Good point. We just need a thousand gold worth crystal or mirror or whatever. Mm -hmm. Just get... <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, was that was, um, as far as talking about all the stuff that's happened and transpired goes, I'm kind of out of questions. So unless you guys want anything mm -hmm. you guys want to add or say before we um, sign off. Oh, uh, just that when I forget something as Jax, it's that I have forgotten something myself. And I love that I can play into it as Jax. <laughs> Old man. Because my notes are a complete mess because of all the money around and shit that I've done. And all the <laughs> sessions that I've missed. I, like, I genuinely don't know who I've told what to. Bro, I don't know I who I've given things to. Again. Exactly, dude. Like, I just don't know what's going on in this campaign. It goes around my torso, right? It's on the outside of the armor, right? Oh. Wait. No. Dude. No one's asked if I built a diaper into my armor, you know? Do you really think that's what people have in, like, in their heads? Have they you seen in? the questions that Ethan asks? <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm that not gonna like shit something... Ethan. I will, I, dude, I was tempted, I'm not gonna <laughs> shit on Ethan. Like, he deserves a break after all the ripping on him we do during Divinity. Does he ever really deserve a break? Dude, Divinity was bad, man. Like It was bad this the week? The thing is, like, no, just in general. Like oh. me and me and me and Duke are used to fucking ripping into each other, right? When we're playing games, yeah. <clears throat> or like when I play games, and it's worse like, whenever someone plays it with you, yeah. Yeah. So like, and Ethan just doesn't isn't used to that much abuse, <laughs> right? So like, I there were times where I'm like, oh shit, dude, I feel, I feel a little bad. <laughs> God. Oh, uh, content. I, I have a question. No. I have a question. Oh, go on. When uh, Dashu was saying like, you could stay here. Like, you'll always be able to say it. What would he even have done? Like, where would he... What, what would have been the follow-through if she was like, yeah, I'll stay here? Where'd they go? Yeah, there. <laughs> I, he'd probably take you to... explore some places in the elemental plane of air. A place that he frequents when he's not where the vessel leads to, for instance. Um, I guess that he would have just asked, you know, if Kes wanted to live in the elemental plane of air and learn more about her people... Or her that side of her her bloodline or whatever she could have and that would probably have been the rest of her life interesting okay but that would have meant probably for kes to exit yeah she would have like you know what i mean actually i do have a question about the fight with okay. uh balls of fawn mm -hmm. balls deep whatever his name was yeah, balls deep. <laughs> balls deep. um balls deep like if nine. we had decided to run at the beginning would that have even worked in the hells? Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. Running would have probably made it worse. I, I'm, I'm glad that we basically just had like, to run, like, like the thing is, where, where were you going to go? Well, that's the thing. is like, I didn't know if the stairs yeah, led to some, you know, because it used to lead to the crypt, but maybe it connected out to, like, some tunnels that we could have started running through. Like, it, it's not just the chapel that got transported. Yeah. Like, pretty much the entire village is down there now. Oh. It's like, shh. So if we had, if anyone that we saved was still in the immediate radius of the town, they were also transported down to hell and potentially tied there. Yeah. Like, when you go, <laughs> when like, the thing is, like, when you go back to the Prime Tier Plane, you'll see just, like, a crater where this village was. So we may not have actually saved those people that we thought we saved. Mm -hmm. They're just, like, oh, in the house. Uh, we oh, just shit, completely guess. forgot really about them. It depends on the radius and how far they got. <laughs> it's like it's like that town that just became a pit of lava all over again. We might have wasted our time saving them to kill them anyways. <sighs> I wasted spells on those people. <laughs> I maybe did. They're, maybe they're alive, dude. You don't know. They they don't have. To yeah, be, but that's a big maybe, bro. And one of those spells could have like given me a little more. They live on the edge of town. Damage. You still explored through town, had a couple of fights. Uh, Did we save thing? someone in the middle of the town? Oh, you fucking chose to ignore everybody. Yeah, yeah, we ignored everyone. Oh, yeah, good point. It's like a guy being tortured. Yeah, they're all dead now. <laughs> we were just dead. like, not my, it's like us, not my monkeys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but no, running, like, where would you have gone? Uh, well, that's my, that was my thought, is like, I, I just, if we were to get outside, they're going to know it better than we would. Yeah. Yeah, so and like backup, no fucking clue where we were. It would be a lot easier for, for backup to spot you and, and like this is one of those uh, unavoidable fights. Uh, unfortunately. Well, it could have been avoided 
if we hadn't just grabbed the tooth. Unavoidable the moment the you entered that we did. Hell. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry. <clears throat> uh, fuck. And I still have that in my backpack. Or my bag of holding. Boy, oh boy. It does. You've just Dude, got, like, I'm the really tooth. I, I'll be honest. Every time you give me something that I'm not supposed to touch, I really just want to touch it. Like, <laughs> well, hopefully this, it's just, like, hopefully it's a want to know. It's a want to know. You know what I mean? I got to know. I got to know. Was this I got not to enough talk of about a learning the turtles. Well, that was interrupting a ritual and touching it. Motherfucker, wasn't it you <laughs> that touched something you wasn't supposed to touch? No, that Ash, was Cat. That was fucking... Actonis. That was Actonis who touched the black stone thing that turned. Well, that was gonna turn into like a werewolf or something like that. I got that no, stone no, no. stuck in her forehead. Ash, when he was fucking marked by fucking Orcus, like way in the beginning. Oh, yeah, no, we weren't supposed to touch it. Oh, <laughs> We were just supposed to take it and grab it and go. Oh, you double, you double, boo. Oh, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I'm going to get the Mark Asmodeus this one. I'm collecting all the Marks, bro. True. Right. Shout out to Mark. Whoever Come you are, me, dude. shout out to you. He's collecting all of you. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, anyway. Good talking to you. I appreciate you both very much. It's always a good, good fun time. We have fun around here, guys, don't we? Yeah, you guys will see me in like six months, right? We have fun around yeah. here, guys. Uh, you're both here Sunday, right? I'm assuming. Yeah. Um. <laughs> check my calendar. calendar. I am not not gonna be here. Okay, good. So you are gonna be there. <laughs> yes, that is what that means, Bill. Good job. I thought I saw something that was going to stop me from going and from being here, and then I was in it. Yeah. Anyways. Don't you laugh? Sorry, mate. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Didn't laugh. Sorry. 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 I'm not coming back on this we show. We have fun around have here, fun. guys. Oh, oh Bell, is, Soko, I appreciate you. Thanks for being here with me tonight. It was a lot of fun. We laugh. We had, we yeah, had goofs and gaffs around here, guys, aren't we? What a, what a funny bunch of We started of silly, strong, that's for sure. Silly people. Um... <laughs> It's been a long day, man. It's been a day, dude. It's... Oh, I'm here, dude. I, I've been up since yeah. 4 a.m. I'm. It's been a. It's I'm been a day. 24 hours and fucking counting, hell. baby. Go to bed, you fucking idiot. Go to bed. Uh, maybe now is a little too early. Like, go to bed like 10 ish. Maybe just should, don't wake up. 9, 10. Do you have any obligations tomorrow? Like, do you have to get up early? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's, she's okay, well, yeah. Then go to bed like 9 or 10. You'll be good. All right. Ah. Uh, She's not gonna go to bed at nine or ten. She'll be. Yeah, hey, I was. I was running. I was running you through my schedule for the rest of the week. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna be up to like three or four a.m. today, and then wake up at like eight a.m. and repeat. Oh my god, it's the worst. Um. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for being here. <laughs> Appreciate you all, Bell Soko. Thanks for being here as well. We'll catch you okay. someday for uh, Dungeon Schlicht. More trauma. More trauma. Woo! Yeah. Easy. Du -du -du -dum. Bom, bom, bom. Bom, bom, bom. Bom, bom, bom. Du -du 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 -dum. Now slowly, like, fade out. Just like... <laughs>